Hi, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. Today I get to collab with Nicole from The Week's Nest. So I'm super excited to show you guys what we came up with. We are doing rustic farmhouse today. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop straight into these DIYs. My favorite DIY first. So taking nautical rope from Dollar Tree, uh, went through like three pairs of scissors to finally get this to cut but we are just cutting the tape off the end. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some hot glue, finger protector, and I always put hot glue in between the like rope and then I will twist it up tight. That way it holds together and it doesn't unravel on you and it always seems to do the trick. So taking our hot glue gun, I am just gonna start rolling this into itself. And at first I'm trying to do this like up in the air just holding it and then i'm like girl uh you have your mat there your silicone mat there for a reason use it so then i get smart and i bring it down to the silicone mat so when i am wrapping this i am getting the hot glue and i am stringing the bead of glue at the very bottom of the nautical rope and then kind of almost like dragging it into there that way the hot glue doesn't come out on the top because that'll look nasty so you're gonna you're gonna spin this around as full as you want it um I just kind of eyeballed how big I wanted these and then I just make sure to hot glue the end and then look at all that hot glue on the bottom no thank you so now I'm just measuring out my bunny ears. So make these as big as you want, as little as you want. And then I make sure just to cut as many pieces for the ears as you're going to make bunnies. Does that make sense? So again, hot gluing the ends so that they don't unravel on us. And then we're gonna get a hot glue. Again, a lot of hot glue. And I'm gonna put the hot glue towards the back of this nautical rope gonna push it in there and then I'm just gonna get a little little baby dab of hot glue on the front of that ear it's hardly noticeable and I just press my finger into it just so I know that it's secured on both sides now right here I highly recommend cutting them and getting them as flat as possible at the end so that they sit flush with your bunny head so I'm gonna repeat that step for the second ear. Again, just hot gluing the ends so we don't have unraveling and attaching those to the back. And I, oh gosh, these came out so cute. So you guys know I need a finished product, right? The hot glue mess that was on the back was just way too much. So I started it this way, but I'm gonna hop to the second bunny I did because it was just way easier, okay? So look. Before I did the ears on this one, I put hot glue on it, lay it down on my burlap. I just kind of dab it. You don't need to press hard because you the whole purpose is to cover the hot glue, not push it through your burlap. And then I cut around it and this just makes it look clean. It makes it look finished. And you all know I love finished. So this, you guys, is the same thing we're doing. So attaching ears to this one. Oh, Everett, he loves the color. Um, so we're going to finish the ears and now we're going to accessorize them. So this is some, um, ribbon that I got from Michael's 70% off. I just applied that hot glue to the back of the ear, laid it on the ribbon, and then we're just cutting right around it. This was so much easier than trying to trace around the ribbon, then cut it out, then lay it on. This just <clears throat> worked. It was easy peasy, you guys. These are so cute. I want to like make a million of them and sell them. I swear. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. So then taking a strand of this, I'm gonna take the wire out, cut it a little thinner, and we're gonna make a finger bow. I will attach that video down below for you. It is in real time and much easier to follow. And then we are going to hot glue this to the bottom of our bunny as a little necktie. Oh gosh, these are so adorable. These are like my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, so then for the second one, I took a Dollar Tree doily and we are gonna use this for her little ears. So again, I'm just going to apply hot glue to the back of the ear and then just lay it on there. It's on my silicone mat, so that's good. And then I'm just going to cut around this. Now for her, which I wasn't thinking clearly, when we make her bow, I put it down on the neckline like I did for the little boy bunny, which I wish I would have just done it 
up top to make it like look like a hair bow. But anyways, nonetheless, they still came out super, super cute. So again, I just took a piece of that doily, making a finger bow. It kind of looks like it's falling apart, but that's totally fine with me because it looks rustic and primitive and Oh, I'm in love with you bunnies. Oh my gosh. Let me know down in comments if you are going to be trying this. You guys, this only took one of the eight foot nautical ropes at Dollar Tree. I think it's eight foot. I don't know what it is. But only one of those bundles. And look at how adorable these two came out. I am obsessed. I feel like I need to sell these on Etsy or something. They're just, oh, they're so cute. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that first DIY. I really think that first DIY is like my favorite spring Easter DIY that I have done on my channel. And I don't know what it is about them. I think they're just so rustic and they were so easy and they turned out so cute that I, I'm just obsessed with them. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the DIYs and you all know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging my channel, if you are digging the DIYs, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and make sure to head down to my description box because you're going to find my Instagram on there, my uh, Facebook page where y'all can share your crafts. And then I also have the supplies listed down below and timestamps as well. And remember today I am linking up with Nicole from the Weeks Nest. So I will be telling you more about her after this next DIY. So let's go ahead and get back into it. All right, you guys, we are starting with these carrot wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. I am just taking a baby wipe and then we are rubbing some antique wax on. These are actually going to be the back. You guys know I love a finished product, so that's what I decided to do. So now taking this ribbon I got from Michaels, I want to cover the carrots in this ribbon, but it wouldn't carry the entire top part. So I'm cutting pieces out, take that um, metal out the wire, and then I am coating it with some hot glue and I'm gonna lay it right on top of that ribbon so I know it co covers it. And then I'm just lightly patting it. We don't want it to go through the ribbon here. So then I'm just gonna cut out around here. I'm gonna cut this top part off because as you can see, it doesn't cover the entire top of the carrot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece. We're gonna lay it horizontally and you can see right there, well, I ended up getting another piece, but if you cut this piece in half, it's the perfect size and you could use one piece for two carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on top. Make sure you take that wire out. It just makes it a lot easier to cut around the carrot. Now I'm gonna take some scissors and we are going to cut around there so we see obviously the top of the carrot. Now y'all, if you have recommendations for like detail scissors, please let me know because one, these you can tell is like ginormous. And then these little ones that I got from Dollar Tree, they only cut like on the very back of the blade. So it was really hard getting like in the like corners of this, but yeah, your girl made it work, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and finish that off. And then we're gonna repeat this for all four, of, I end up doing four of these carrots here. So again, I'm gonna show you one more time, take all of the wire out, put some hot glue, just put it around the rim and put very, like very light amount. And as you can see, like I dab my fingers on it because I don't want all that hot glue coming up through our ribbon. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this one up. Don't worry about the harsh like black line in between that because we are going to cover that on up. I'm just fast forwarding this, you guys, okay? All right, okay. So after we're done with that, we're taking twine. You're gonna wrap this around four times, tack it off in the back, voila. And you are going to continue to do that for all four of your carrots. Easy peasy, Dollar Tree squeezy, right? I love how this garland turned out. This is my first time making one, so uh, I don't think I did that bad of a job. All right, after those are all done, we are going to take some painter's tape and about three inch pieces of twine, I would say. And I am putting painter's tape on the bottom so we could get it through the hole on the top of the carrot. So there we go. Sorry, Hank's barking up a storm in the backyard. 
And since this was my first time making one, I didn't know if you were supposed to tie them like super tight on the twine or loose. I decided to give it just like a little space. So I double knotted it left a little bit of room, that way I could still move it around and play around with the placement after I was done putting all the other ribbons on. And I go ahead and just cut the ends off. It's okay if they're sticking up. And then I'm gonna repeat this step. I'm gonna do it one more time for y'all. It's pretty easy. Uh, and I'm just using my weeding tool to stick the hole back into it. So weeding that through, tying it on, double knotting it nice and loose. Now, after I'm done with all four of those, I tie the ends in a loop just so we could tack it, you can hang it, you can do whatever you want with it. And next, I'm gonna grab some of this burlap. I'm also gonna grab our ribbon and some of the doily from our first project. And this is what's fun about garlands because you can make it however you want. You could put as much as you want, as less as you want. Possibilities are endless and that's why I enjoyed making this. So for mine, I did the burlap. Then I got the ribbon. Make sure you take the wire out of it so it's more flexible on the sides here. And I end up using, I think, eight pieces total of the ribbon and I love that they got the straight lines right there for you girl yes ma'am all right so then taking uh, the doilies from Dollar Tree come in two packs so this was the second one and I'm just cutting this in strips then then I get smarter and get my rotary blade from Dollar Tree that thing is awesome pick one up so I'm going to take the doily and I'm going to tie it on each side of our burlap and I don't care that it looks almost like it's falling apart because I want it to look rustic and old like you would see it in like an antique shop or something. And I then take the ribbon, tie that on each side of the doily, and we're going to repeat this step all the way through even on the right and left side of the end carrots. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm like telling you guys, oh, you guys need to add some like orange to it. Well, you will see. I did end up adding a very like thin ribbon of orange and I think this turned out so well. For some reason they seem to kind of like blend in right here but on my window you can perfectly see that these are carrots and I love how rustic kind of like primitive they look. It definitely stole my heart for sure. All right, you guys, I want to tell you about Nicole from the, ne the Weeks Nest DIY. She literally does every kind of DIY imaginable from farmhouse to modern to boho. Um, you'll absolutely love her style, her vibe, her personality. Um, I'm going to leave her channel link down in the description box as well as her video for today. So make sure and head down there. Let her know that I sent you and I hope you enjoy her content. Okay, for this one, we are taking a new sign. Don't, y'all don't gotta get sassy with me, okay? I know it's new, people are looking for it, but it was the perfect size, and so I had to use it. And by the way, that welcome comes off very easy. It's just that like foamy word stuff. Okay, so take your twine out. We're gonna go ahead and flip this baby around, get some burnt umber. I realized I didn't have any brown chalk paint. Y'all know I hardly ever use acrylic paints. It's all chalk paint for me, but I didn't have brown. And this worked very well. You don't have to worry about covering the whole thing up. This literally took me like 10 minutes. This is gonna be such a fun project for y'all to do as like a girl's night in, a family night with your kids. It was so easy. Okay, so now taking some plaster by Waverly, I'm just taking a stencil brush from Dollar Tree and I am just going for this bunny. So basically, I'm not good at explaining how I paint. I'm not Bob Ross, but um, this was so easy it's basically like half a big circle half a small circle and then long triangles that slant on one side yeah i'm not good at explaining painting but as you can see this was very easy to do i promise you can do it and i'm not being neat by any means i am going through and just dragging this brush just roughly because i did want it i didn't want it to be pure white or anything and then I'm gonna get some antique wax and just put like a little, little baby amount. That way I can cre create some shadows in our little bunny. And you can see right there, like how much dimension just the little shadows add. And then it helps um, us create a line in between the ears so you really know that there's you know definition in there. 
I absolutely love how this turned out and I was really impressed how fast I did it. So now taking some ribbon, this is from Michaels. I'm gonna create a loop. I think this is about 10 inches long. I'm gonna hot glue the ends together. And then I always press in the middle and fold it in half so I know my um, middle point. And I'm folding it up and over. I will leave my bow tutorial down in the description box for you. Cutting some dovetails there. And y'all, I don't even like hot glue this together or anything. I get a piece of twine that was left over from another DIY project that was sitting on my table. And you are just going to loop it around and then we will hot glue it down at the very end. So here you go, hot glue it down. And then I did the bow first because I wanted to be able to see the position it was on its the bunny's neck for me to draw, paint the face on. So after we're done with that, we're gonna grab, <laughs> you guys know I don't throw anything away, right? I was about to throw these makeup brushes away and I was like, oh girl, no you are not. These are like synthetic makeup brushes and you could use these for painting. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some eyes on. I'm using Folk Art Rich Black. Then taking some pink from Folk Art as well. This is also chalk paint, doing a little nose. Now it does get darker as it dries. I then take, this, this is like a detailed brush from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint, I don't know what these are. Is this his mouth? I guess the, the bridge of his nose, the bottom of his, I don't know. And whiskers. You could even put some pink in the middle of its ears. And oh, so cute. Now y'all, I am starting to learn as I craft, let me tell you, because you guys know I like to finish the backs of my signs. Well, I was noticing I would do that first and then I would be getting paint on the back of it. So this time I was like, you know what, let's wait, do it at the end. So as usual, I take my brown shipping paper, I start tracing it out and then I cut it. And you guys always know that like this stuff like rolls up on you when you're trying to like cut it perfectly. So I cut it like that and then I'm like, no, don't cut it. Don't cut it, girlfriend. Like hot glue it, put a bigger piece, you know, right there. We're gonna finish hot gluing this up. Then we're gonna take our Arteza craft knife and then go around and clean it up. And this was just so much easier than fighting the brown shipping paper that curls up on you to try and cut it perfectly. Like now I know this perfectly fits the back of my sign. So I just wanted to show you that because it looked so nice. Look at that. Okay. Woo -woo. Okay. Now poking some holes in, we're going to put our twine back in. And then this is when I notice. I'm like, uh, that ear looks a little funny. So I grab some more burnt umber and I clean up the sides. I do go back in and clean up the middle of his ear as well, but I absolutely love how this turned out. I really, really challenge you guys to, to do this with your friends and your family. I think it would be such a fun way seeing how everybody's bunny turns out, how everybody does their faces, picks their bows. I think it would be a lot of fun. Look at how cute you are, mister. Looking all rustic and handsome. I love it. All right, you guys, I wanted to take a quick moment and tell you about my new channel. It's called Crafting a Healthy Life. My girl, Danielita AF, came up with the name, and it's going to be about basically my healthy life journey. It'll have motivation, tips and tricks, tons of laughter, realness, and my journey of weight loss. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box for that. I would really appreciate y'all's support on this. Um, as it's very nerve wracking doing something like that. Okay, you guys, this right here. Okay, these are a Dollar Tree. You can see they're kind of, they're kind of rough. Some of them are. And if you see them, pick them up because these are going to make the perfect tear tray signs. I mean, any sign really. So at first I thought these were gonna be like a raw wood. Well, they're not. They almost feel like plastic to me. But then as I start trying to sand off this piece of glue, I'm like, mm, I think this could possibly be wood. I don't know, you guys, I'm so confused on this. But anyways, they easily come apart. I'm taking this mix of antique wax and it had chiffon in it. And I think it was the wax that did this, but it gives it like that crackle effect because the the frame itself was, like I said, like a plasticky 
plasticky, glossy like texture, but I was so digging it. So I just left it. Then taking this off, um, I was just trying to take this off because it's going to be our back and I wanted just like a flat base down there. Now we're going to paint the front in plaster. It doesn't have to be smooth. Just let it be rough. It's okay if pieces are, are poking out. That's the least of our worries. Now we are going to cover up our back. For me, you guys, it's all about like, I want this to look like you bought it in a store. I don't want anybody to know. Not that I'm ashamed of it. I just want like, I want to be proud of my work. And you know, if somebody came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, did you get this at Home Goods or Hobby Lobby? I'd be like, mm -hmm, yes, ma'am. Okay. So now we're going to put that back in here. Look at how clean the back looks. That's what I'm talking about here. Then taking a decal I made on my, oops, sorry about that, vinyl machine. It says bunny kisses. And I was either going to do this or bunny trail, but I thought bunny kisses was a little different. And this will be available in my Etsy shop for y'all. So we put that on and that is it. This was a quick, easy DIY. Absolutely love how this turned out. This will definitely be going in my tiered tray in the kitchen. And I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs today. I really think these are some of my favorite ones that I've done so far. And make sure to head down to the description box, check out Nicole's channel, let her know that I sent you. And I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and I will see you back here on Tuesday. Bye y'all. Drops kept falling off. No, that doesn't make much. How annoying. No wonder why it's been up in my closet. Okay, let's. It's probably crooked. Just get over it. No. These, these glossy cheeks are reminding me of Jacqueline Hill. What do you want? Doge. Doge, 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 Okay. Seriously, you know how to get outside by yourself, Hank. Let me guess, you have to go pee, right? Because I just came down here and sat down. I just got all adjusted. Finally got my straps where I wanted them. And now I got to start it all over again. Could you just please be okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Focus. Focus. Why should I just put those down? How annoying. Gosh, the clothes that I used to wear that are still hanging in my closet that I don't wear. Okay, now if we could do all of them like that. Oh, why does my nose always run? Oh, that was not a great idea. Don't, don't do that. Gotta work with what you got, right? Oh God, that's a bad idea. Hey, hey, I wanted to say thank you to all the people that stay all the way to the end to see all my boo-boos and stuff during my introductions and my second introduction. Uh, you guys are the true champions and thank you so much for supporting me all the way through my video because that really does help me out on YouTube more than you know. So for all of those that stick around to this point, I wanna do a little giveaway for you. I think I'm just gonna do like a bag uh, filled with hard to find items from Dollar Tree. And all you have to do is comment down below. Oh man, your favorite comedy movie. So comment that down below and you're gonna get an extra added entry if you go over to my new channel, 
Crafting a Healthy Life and subscribe and comment on that first video that I posted. So two opportunities to get entered into the giveaway and I will notify you guys. Let's see, today is Sunday. So let's say next Friday in my community tab, who the winner is. You get 48 hours to uh, message me via email and it will be US residents only. I'm so sorry, I can't afford $50 shipping to outside of the US, but one day, one day I will. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. Bye.